According to a recent report in the guardian, Mar-a-Lago is a magnet for foreign spies. And that's actually not coming from the reporters at uh, uh, the guardian. That's actually coming from the former intelligence officials who have been sounding the alarm for quite some time now that it's very, very easy for foreign spies to infiltrate Mar-a-Lago and we've already arrested two of them for doing it. So of course it matters that Donald Trump was storing top secret, highly classified government documents at Mar-a-Lago in an area, by the way, that his own lawyer, Alina Haba admitted on TV last week, sees lots of visitors come through it. Like tons of people, she said, coming and going from the area where the documents were stored. Let me tell you, a little story about how easy it is to actually infiltrate Mar-a-Lago. Uh, there was one instance where a, uh, I don't know if you would call them a foreign spy. It was definitely somebody from a foreign country working for a foreign government that was not supposed to be at Mar-a-Lago managed to get in by telling the secret service and Mar-a-Lago security guards that she was just there to use the pool. Like I'm just coming to use the pool. That individual was then able to go through the pool area into Mar-a-Lago where she mingled with Lindsey Graham, actually spoke with Donald Trump, former president of the United States. So yeah, pretty easy. All you got to do is show up and be like, yep, just here for a quick swim, folks. <laughs> Definitely not spying for a foreign government. No, I just need to get my laps in for the day, right? There was another instance where another foreign spy infiltrated Mar-a-Lago. And, uh, she of course did get arrested because she had, I think five different cell phones on her. Yeah. Because that's just totally something that, uh, people do. You walk around with five different cell phones. No, that's, that's definitely a big red flag. But of course this individual was able to get into Mar-a-Lago before they were eventually stopped. And Donald Trump was storing secrets of foreign countries and their nuclear capabilities down there in that basement where again, Alina Haba says visitors go through all the time. You know, I, I kind of wonder if that basement, if there's a direct line from the pool through the basement, because that's how irresponsible things are. The security is and the secret service at Mar-a-Lago. I mean, this is insane. This is absolutely not so bonkers insane that we're having any kind of debate at all about whether or not the former president should have had nuclear secrets of foreign adversaries or foreign allies hidden in an area that's been known to have been infiltrated by spies within the last five years on multiple different occasions. There is no question about this. Donald Trump is a threat to national security. Mar-a-Lago is a threat to national security. And again, you don't have to take my word for it. Take the words of the experts that are again, sounding the alarm bells. Mar-a-Lago, as they put it, is a magnet for spies. And it wouldn't surprise me if after the FBI raid, a couple of spies didn't go through there trying to see if there was anything the FBI missed. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.